Micah with Blue Roots Media and Marketing here, and I'm going to show you how to add motion to your videos. It's very simple, very easy, and a lot of people, um, this is kind of like a trick that uh, video production people do. So, say I got this video here, it has some motion because it was held by hand or whatever, but say i want to just focus on her or him or just act like there's more than one camera um possible so if i was doing like a still video or whatever and i was doing a series and all that this is what i would do i would take it i would go ahead and get my cut tool cut and i would just cut me some nice little um blocks in here so now we have some ni nice little box all right um, this right here is if you're following this series this is a uh, adding text which um, I'll give a link right here um, I guess I'll put it up here somewhere or in the description on how to add text and also how to do a still frame but anyway so here we go we have this video broken up okay I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio so while I'm talking it doesn't mess up. So go ahead and press the V, which will be this, and then click on here. And then go to your effects panel. Now your effects panel under motion will allow you to add different um, effects. So say I just push this in and over here this is going to be the same thing here but in you know right there so this is my effect and so right here i'm going to be doing like keyframes is what this is called it's also called kim burns and stuff like that so i'll go ahead and i'll click on my position tab and either way i slide i can go left right or whatever i can go up and down with this and so say if i go here and then scale is basically zoom so i can go in and zoom on her all right that right there zoom a little bit more right there so i want this frame to go from here and go and be pushed and so the next video as you can see the next part of it would go and they're talking all right so throughout the course of that video of course i don't want to be on her the whole time so say i want to go ahead and i want to just zoom out so i can go ahead with this little nice scale out zoom out adjust it i'll put it on him and then right there now note right here and i'm going to go ahead and i'll bring this out i mean bring this out to 25 percent that black right there will show up and you don't want that because that's not cool so just make sure that when you're editing this video when you're editing your videos make sure there's no black because people don't want to see that and so you take that you got that right there and you could do basically the same so he went there so watch so they go it zooms out it looks like there is a multiple camera all right so then we have this right here so say i click on this again i want this frame to go to start Let's start this way again. Well, let's start this way. Go right there and then zoom up a little bit. And then I want to finish it out. Really zoomed in on this picture. So all I have to do is just watch. So there it goes one two bam let's see and then go here there's constantly going to be movement all right that was uh cameraman's mistake and then it goes 
bam back to the original size and you basically you can do that and then another way to add movement is going to be with your effects and adobe is so easy with these effects excuse me and the fact that all you have to do is drag and drop these effects on and then the way you edit them is that you see here's your effect right here you click on it sorry you just click on it and then you can go ahead and it'll show you over in this menu where you're coming in at if you're coming in too soon if you want to start with the cut if you want to start center at cut um if you want B more than A and A more than B, your start, your ending, and stuff like that. So, there you go. You can add movement. See, not really that cool. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend this. Um, you can actually show actual sources. And then, there you go. And so, when it's all said and done, you've taken a clip that remotely started back here like this, or right here, and now you've added some cool effects to it. And so, like right here, then I add the... So, I don't like that effect. So, you can do... Um, page peel just swap it out press play and then see that's a little bit better and then as it goes through bam and it looks like you have more camera than you actually do and so, some of the ways that this has been effective has been where I am just shooting one shot on a tripod, nothing special or anything like that. All right, my contact information is going to be below. Um, you know, always Facebook at Blue Roots MM. Uh, tweet me at Blue Roots MM. Please, I want to start answering tweets. I've been sick, that's why I haven't been answering much text or something like that. Uh, I mean, much tweets or any videos in the last year, really, because I just couldn't talk. But I'm doing it better now, and I really want to get this thing going back up again and really helping you guys create something amazing. I'm going to start a blog page, kind of like tutorial, at BlueRootsMM.com. And so maybe that'll be a way for us to connect to some more and get some awesome things done and accomplished in this creative world. Once again, I hope you create something and have a good one.